So now we know. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. Mm. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, moves. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. I thought that they were just high off their ass, but... Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? Is he? I'm glad you stopped me. He's drunk. Nathan is dangerous. He's not on drugs though, is he? Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer half drinking. Half a beer? Let's go, Lex. Wait. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm paying the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. Hmm. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass he kicked. Is so... Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. That's so sad. <sighs> I know how to be invisible here. Hi, can I take your phone or anything? No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, okay Chloe, where the hell are you?
Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. Mm -hmm. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Thank you, Stella. All right, let's go to this so-called party. Drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing. Okay. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. Is Nathan bothering you? I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic head. Yeah! Yes! Give it up for Brother Warren! Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town! Yeah! I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoot's game. Me, fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains it. <laughs> Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. But for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. I'm still trying to lay low here, man. I'm not even gonna. Oh, it's Alyssa. Oh shit! Alyssa, are you okay? Yes, I just got tagged by a water weenie and fell in the pool. I'm groovy. Of course, this is the one time you just warned me, Max. Yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. <laughs> wow, I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? 
I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Seriously? I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Yes, you do so. Maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. <laughs> Want to get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. <laughs> Nathan. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore Tex club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. <laughs> Especially was, Nathan. Man, I hate this. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but. Your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh no, I'm I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus! You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Kill the Prescotts. Hello? Can you please I'd like to tear every one of these things down. You've been vomiting for like an hour. I'm never leaving this toilet. Maybe you're not the this only is my one last who has to get sick. Club party. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. In, or both. Oh, gross. How did this even get here? Okay. Um. No, seriously, I'm out of here. Oh, and everything isn't so fuzzy. Not anymore. I think I found my thumbnail, guys. <laughs> What would a shitty party be without close? True that, true that. I'm sorry I'm not talking very much. Are you mental? You can't come in. Alright, so I'm gonna go talk to Courtney and see why she is drinking by herself. I'm pretty sure that will get me into the area. to the end of the world. Even though you flake on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. Woo! You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> get it? Hey, Sarah, um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex. Whoop, 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 whoop. I actually do feel a little bit special. Bye-bye, bitch! Ready? I swear to God, if this is like 
What's that movie? This is like Carrie, where they have like a bucket of blood fall on me. I am going to rewind and put somebody else there. I swear to God. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. Thank you so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. Kate, I was so happy to see your smile again. You mean so much to me and to and to so many others. I have to go, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will. Call me as soon as you can. Ooh. I always love to What's up, Hayden? Oh, look! Up in the sky, oh, dear it's God. Super Max here to save the party! Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? Do you want to hit? No. I want to find Nathan. Me too! He's supposed to be bringing some... Special party favors. I hope that the party you actually planned a party. Oh my god. god. Not this week. So, has so anybody gone. here seen me? So gone. I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you can sit down and take a quick nap. What about Victoria? What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking wrecked. Maybe you better take it easy to Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. A bomb. Give me a break. Is that you, Max? You look all fuzzy. Wow. I'm Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? She probably won't believe me. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to do it. I want... I'm gonna put don't blame you. I don't blame you, Victoria, but... You know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So, why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean. Hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria. But I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. Is For what? I have no opening clue. Up to me? I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You suck. You have talent. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. Yeah. 
On He's point, pretty Max. Cool. Pretty chill. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either. But that's the choice you made. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Not enemies. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision, that would be us, Victoria. <laughs> well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. The true question here is, is she gonna believe me? If I try to warn her, she might be like, Oh, Max, you're so creepy, blah, 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 blah. Where if I don't warn her, I'm going to try to warn her and we'll see how this plays out. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but... He is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her something so dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds. But that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, yes. and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Lockwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks. And I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here and I haven't seen her. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. <laughs> and I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Yay! We're actually like cool and stuff. So maybe the other timeline wasn't too far off. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I won't. I hope she's okay. Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing here? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the boot. Keep dancing. Just keep on dancing for Victoria, Taylor. And stay away from Nathan. Like, thanks for your concern. Okay, let's go to Chloe. Why is there a Okay, I guess we're leaving the party. Oh good, Chloe's here. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? <laughs> I better get Chloe. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him. what are you doing? He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide in there. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Are you both okay? You look like you're on a mission. Oh, uh, I was just Mr. looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, 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 uh, the whole Gate situation. Yeah, that makes He's sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. He's not gonna go to Kate. I do Kate wish he would have entered. 
you have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Get the hell out of here, Max. You better go to Kate in the hospital, will you? Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Sexy. You were so hot. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Uh -huh. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Where are we going? I mean, I know we're going to the... Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Oh, God. What the... Is it possible that two timelines or two universes or two types of existences are trying to, like, phase into one? Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. So I hope you guys know that I'm probably going to split this up into, like, four parts because I keep thinking, oh, it's gonna end here. Oh no, it's gonna end he Rachel. here. <sighs> Rachel. The location where we were, I wonder if that's where the doe was trying to lead me up that hill. God, I wanna fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Creepy out here. Max, please hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Okay. Don't look, Chloe. But then. But then what are we doing? <gasps> oh! No! Oh, yeah. 
like that expe- um. I can't even- I can't even- I can't even- Let's just go to the previews the next time. Oh, right. Okay. 43% refuse Chloe's request. Uh, 60% stop Warren from beating up Nathan. 72% nobody got hurt, which took me a couple tries. 73% Victoria believed me. Again, I let the blue dry, I let it, I didn't disturb the nest. Okay. Even the background has changed. Oh my god, you guys, I cannot believe that it was I mean, Mr. Jefferson! I mean, part of me is like, oh, well, yeah, I mean, equip the, all the equipment must have cost a lot of money. The other part of me is like, photography go hand in hand. And who else than, like, someone who has experience taking photos? But it also resembled Nathan's style which is why it didn't it didn't come to me that mr jefferson would be like this unless he's like un unless the prescott's maybe is it possible that the prescott's could have like been like oh you got to teach our son how to do it blah 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 is it possible i don't know mr jefferson no what what would have happened if i would have blamed him and if I would have pre prevented him from doing the everyday hero thing, would he have been even more pissed at me if I had done that? What could have happened different if I did blame him versus Nathan? How could this whole thing have gone different if I had blamed him instead of Nathan? I'm glad I didn't blame David. I'm at loss for words, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did. Oh my god, sorry. I'm so, I'm so traumatized. I'm so traumatized. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. It really does help out my channel. And subscribe for more Life is Strange. I'm Spasmic Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.